So we're gonna be reading Skippy John Jones in the Doghouse. Between the hours of 1 p.m. and 3 p.m., Skippy John Jones created his finest piece of artwork ever. Where do you think he's putting his artwork? It went up and down all around the newly painted hall, and this rubbed his mama's fur the wrong way. Drop that crayon right now, Mr. Doodlepaws, commanded Mama Junebug Jones. You're not the boss of me, said Skippy John Jones. In your dreams, Mr. Bean, said Mama. He wrote all on that wall. I cannot believe that in two quiet hours you've covered the walls with those cockeyed chihuahuas, she scolded. You are not a chihuahua. You are a naughty Siamese cat, and you need a time out to think about that. But Junebug could be very persuasive. If you think more like a cat, she said, mama will catch you a mouse big and fat. I'll dip it in butter and roll it in cheese. All you must do is think Siamese. And stay out of your closet or you'll really be in the doghouse, she added, putting him in his room. In fact, Skippy John Jones was thinking before mama Junebug Jones even left. He was thinking of bouncing. Doghouse repeated Skippy John Jones bouncing to bounce. First he bounced high and then he bounced low, pointing his rear to the chair below. Everyone knows from my big ears to my toes, I'm not a Siamese cat, I'm Skippy John Jones, a chihuahua to my bones. And that's what I think about that. But he missed a chair and went careening into a pile of stuffed animals. Holy jalapeno, exclaimed Skippy John Jones, pulling a bird from his ear. The little bird says there is a bobolito in the doghouse. Quicker than you can say, Skippy John Jones, Skippy John Jones, Skippy John Jones, the kitty boy climbed into his mask and cape. Then using his very best Spanish accent, he began to sing. Oh, my name is Skippito Fresquito, and I heard from a little birdito that the doggies have fled from the gobbling head who goes by the name Bobolito. So it says clap, clap in here. So I'm gonna put the book down so that we can clap and do it. Oh, my name is Skipito Fresquito. And I heard from a little birdito that the doggies have fled from the gobbling head who goes by the name Bobolito. Down the hall, mama and the girl squeezed together on the couch for a little TV. Can Skippy John watch Quiz Kitties with us? Asked Jelly Boo. Not right now, Pigeon Puff, answered Mama. Skipper Doodle still has some serious Siamese thinking to do. But Skippy John Jones was not thinking Siamese. He was thinking Chihuahua. Quiet as a cotton ball, Skippito rolled into his closet. He blew past the boulder, chugged up a hill and arrived alongside a shack perched two bones shy of the end of the world. Where the heck Gito am I? wondered Skippito aloud. The place bloomed with sniffling noses. Who wants to know? growled a voice from inside. It is I, El Skippito Fresquito, the great sword fighter, the great bombolito eater, the great fly defeater, the great spider biter, and the greatest poco perito of all, said Skippito. Suddenly, a rope cut the air with a snapito and wrapped around his paw. Whoa, said Skippito as he flew under the curtain and into the shack. The house was choked full of chihuahuas. They were cavorting in the cupboards and splashing in the sink. They were chilling in the ice cube trays and melting into drinks. And sitting right in the middle of the mayhem were his old amigos, Los Chimichangos. Hola, Skipito, Don Diego, the biggest of the small ones, grins. We have been waiting for you, dude. Si, sí, Skipito, se poquito, Tito. Yesterday morning, we left the house to buy some beans. 
And at night when we returned, the bobalito was in La Casa Perito. Not in the little dog house, exclaimed Skipito. Uh-huh, said Poquito Tito. He's a fanatica and he's so dramatica and need bubbles and nods in our attica. He must be a pain in the sciatica, said Skipito. He's a yes man, added Don Diego. And then all of the doggies nodded. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. A jumbolito pain, agreed Polka Tito. And you are just what the doctor ordered. They made a Puchitos feel so good that they all began to sing and dance. First you turn your music way up loud, then you nod your head up and down and wag your local tail back and forth to the chimichanga rumba and the cha-cha-cha. Stop it! You are killing me, dudes, says Skipito. Enough of the monkey business, said Poquito Tito as he put Skipito outside over to a giant tortilla. Lie down and close your eyes, ordered Poquito Tito. Por qué? asked Skipito. You know what por qué means? It means why? Because, dude, said Poquito Tito, at five o'clock, Abuelo Crispito will spill the frijoles. Same rap laying on a tortilla. At Cinco Bells, a chihuahua as old as Montezuma popped out of the holy boulder and patooey brought forth three beans. Is it three beaner, declared the peritos. Then they rolled Skipito into a three bean burrito. Now we are sure to have good luck. See the three beans? Then the burrito was packed onto the skateboard with the rest of the puchitos and together they rode over the cliff into the valley of dogs, singing as they went. Yes, siri, sirito, it's the return of our boy, Skipito. A bird in his ear said we needed him here. It's kaboom to the big bobelito. That had clap claps too, so we're going to do that again. Yes, siri, sirito, it's the return of our boy, Skipito. A bird in his ear said we needed him here. It's kaboom to the big bobelito. Los chimichangos and the burrito blew into town of Pato Pato Ganzo faster than a flea on a flying furball. To the right of the square stood La Casa Perito. La Casa Perito means the doghouse. Mira, Skipito, howled Don Diego. The nodding bobolito is up in the attica. But Skipito was too scared to look. The peritos did not give a hootito about Skipito's jitters. They just wanted the bobolito out, and he was the dog for the job. With one big flourish, the peritos unrolled the tortilla and tossed the kitty boy and the beans up, up, up into the air until he landed on the roof of the doghouse. Go get him, Skipito, cried the Buchitos. Oh, Mama Lita, cried Skipito, catching a glimpse of the hulking shadow of the Bobolito. Oingy boingy, bouncy pouncy, Skipito flashed his naughty monkey eyes and lunged straight for the head of the bobelito. Yee-haw-ito, hollered Skipito as he took the ride of his life. And in no time flat, the kitty boy brought that bobelito right down to size. Faster than you could say chili chewing chihuahuas, he grabbed the itty bitty bobelito and stuffed him into his pants. Lickety, splickety, rickety, tickety. Skippito rolled the railing all the way down to the front door. And he bounced into the good night air, landing right in the middle of the fluffy white tortilla. Los chimichangos rolled Skippito up snug as a bug and began to chant. Muchos gracias, Skippy Dippy Dango. Bye, Bobolito, Boogie Woogie Tango. Muchos puchos, Licky Sticky Mango. Gozo, Bozo, Chimmy Chimmy Chango. It says it one more time. So we're going to do it one more time. 
Muchas gracias, Skippy Dippy Dango. Bye, Bobolito. Boogie Woogie Tango. Muchos puchos, Licky Sticky Mango. Gozo, Bozo, Chimmy Chimmy Chango. And they carried the porito all the way back to his room. When, with quiz kitties over, Mama Junebug directed her ears towards Skippy John's very quiet room. Hmm, mused Mama. I wonder what he's up to. She told the girls to go and take a peek. He's all wrapped up in his old white blankie, said Jezebel. And he's talking to my itty bitty kitty bobblehead, said Jujubee. Maybe he's thinking Siamese, added Jelly Boo. Really? asked Mama. Oh, he's such a little crumb cake. But Skippy John Jones was not thinking Siamese. He was still thinking Chihuahua. Do you like mice and beans? Skippy John asked the bobblehead. Then he touched the itty bitty kitty's nose with the tip of his blanket. The bobblehead just nodded, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Me too, said Skippy John Jones. Skippy John Jones in the doghouse.